Alright, welcome, welcome mga kaibigan. Ano? At dito na naman nga si Sir Yuli upang magbahagi ng panibagong kaalaman sa inyo regarding mathematics mga kaibigan. Ano? So as you can see, we have two calculators here. No? The 991ES Plus and the, nine, na, the class with uh, model of Casio calculator. Ano? Because today we, I will show you how to solve linear equations using our calculator. So calculate lang mga kaibigan. You can solve for the value of x. Okay? Linear equations with one variable only. Ibig sabihin, x lang or y lang yung present doon sa ating uh, equation. Di ba? Uh, we can easily solve um, linear equations by uh, transposing, dividing, uh, adding, and subtracting, etc. Okay? But uh, again, mga kaibigan, using lamang yung ating calculator, we can easily solve linear equations. But again, mga kaibigan, bago ay pakita kung paano ba natin uh, may solve ang linear equation using lamang yung ating calculator, please sa mga hindi pa subscriber ni EasyMath, please to subscribe on this channel. Malaking tulong ito, mga kaibigan. Pinapangako ko yun sa inyo. Um, click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga tutorial natin na upload natin. Kung di man daily, ay weekly. Okay? So again, mga kaibigan, kung merong... Uh, ads ka na na encounter, please do not skip the ads. Saglit lang naman yun, let it finish and then continue the tutorial afterwards. Okay? So, without further ado, let us have our discussion today. So, let us have our first uh, simple equation. No? Let's say we have 4x equals 4. So, by manual computation, mga kaibigan, ano? To be able to solve this equation, you will divide both sides by 4 para makancel yung coefficient ng x natin. Then, maiwan na lang yung x sa kaliwa. No? If you, if you do that, the answer here is 1. But, uh, again, kung calculate lang yung hawak mo, mga kaibigan, uh, this is the step no, para masolve natin equation na yan. Una, etong calculate na to. Itong uh, 991ES+. Plus, Pakita ko sa inyo kung paano si solve nun. Then, after na to, yung uh, classes naman ang uh, papakita ko sa inyo. So, to type lang natin yung equation, mga kaibigan. Ano? So, to type that, uh, ito yung 4. So, press, press mo lang yung 4. As you can see, nandito yung x natin. Ayun o, yung x natin, mga kaibigan. Uh, kulay pula yon So, we need to press alpha first para ma-type natin yung x na yun. So, alpha, then ito. Yan. Equals, uh, as you can see, andun, ayun yung equal sign. Ito. So, again, kulay pula. So, shift mo, eh, press mo muna yung alpha, no? So, alpha, eto. Okay, so, yun yung equals. Then, equals 4. Then, um, to solve for x, ano, eto na, yung, eto na yung solution, mga kaibigan. Press shift, tapos solve. Eto, to, to, to. Kasi nga, diba, solve natin yan. So, ayun yung uh, text na solve para ma-type, para ma i uh, command natin yung solve na yon kailangan natin i-press yung shift kasi kulay dilaw nga yun, ano? So, shift, calculate. Then, equals, mga kaibigan. Hindi pa yun yung sagot, ano? Equals pa natin. And that is the answer. 1. So, etong L minus R na yan, mga kaibigan, kung yan ay 0, big sabihin, tama yung sagot natin na 1 na yun. Kung ito ay hindi 0, uh, shift solve ulit hanggang maging 0 yan para maging uh, approximate yung ating final answer, ano? So, yun lang mga kaibigan. Diba? Ganun lang kadali. Eh. Shift solve mo lang. And then, makukuha mo na agad yung final answer. Okay, let's do it on the uh, class-wise calculator. Ano? So, clear lang natin to. So, ito yung class-wise natin mga kaibigan. Ano? Again, uh, same process. Type lang natin yung 4. Tapos yung x. Ayun yung x. Oh. So, kulay pula din yun. Alpha. Tapos ito. And then, ayun yung equal sign. Alpha calc. And then, 4. Tapos, shift solve din. Ano? Shift, tapos ayun yung solve. Tapos, equals mo lang. And that is the answer. 1. Again, the L minus R is 0. Meaning, the value of X equals 1 is the correct answer. Ngayon lang mga kaibigan. Ano? So, again, gamit lang yung calculate natin. Nasolve agad natin yung value ng X. Let us have another example. So, ito na muna. Ano? Ito na muna gamitin kong calculate. Tapos, mamaya na yung isa. Clear ko lang ito. Same process lang naman yun mga kaibigan. Ano? Let us have um, a fraction, ano? Ano ba, fraction yung given natin? Diba, karaniwan karamihan sa atin ay hirap sa fraction. Let's say we have 2 over 8 plus 3 over 4, no? 
equals W over 5. So, since wala naman tayong W dito mga kaibigan, let us use X na lang. Ano. Ganun lang din naman yun. Variable lang yun na iba. So, X na lang yung gamitin natin. So, again, type lang natin yun. Ito yung fraction natin. So, 2 over 8. Yan. Plus 3 over 4. So, 3 over 4. Tapos, equals. Ito yung equal sign. Alpha equal. And then, fraction ulit. X naman, X, ito X, again, alpha, ito. Tapos, all over 5. Diba, medyo komplikado sa paningin natin yan. Pero, shift solve mo lang yan. Shift solve equals, the answer is 5, mga kaibigan. So, ganun lang kadali, ano? Naku, agad natin yung value ng X. Tatype lang natin, then shift solve. So, gamitin ko yung isang calc yun. So, ayun na, mga kaibigan, ito yung, uh, um, 991 ES plus. Type lang din natin yon yung ating uh, equation. So, again, 2 over 8. Kasi kaya natin ginagamit yung uh, magkaibang kalkyo. Hindi naman uh, makakamukha ng kalkyo, no? Equals uh, alpha x over 5. So, again, shift solve. Shift uh, solve. Ayan. Equals, the answer is 5. Ganun lang, ano? Kung ikaw ay uh, hirap sa pag-solve ng uh, linear equation manually, You can use your calculator. Pero again, mga kaibigan, uh, in our class or in our classroom, hindi naman pwedeng final answer lang. You need to uh, show the solution, the complete solution. So, meaning, uh, magagamit lang natin itong uh, calcul natin for checking. Okay? So, let us have another example. Bigay tayo ng medyo komplikado. Um, eto, eto, eto. 4x plus 5 all over 6 equals 7 over 2. So, we have a fraction, we have binomial on the numerator, etc. So, type lang natin ulit yun. We have fraction for alpha x uh, plus 5 all over 6. Then, equals fraction ulit, 7 over 2. Yan. Then, shift solve. Ganun lang. Shift, then solve. The answer is 4. Okay, so Ano ulit yung equation natin? Uh, 4x plus 5 So 4x Plus 5 All over 6 um, Equals 7 over 2 So again, shift solve Shift solve Equals 4 Yan lang, di ba magkamukha ng sagot Meaning uh, the answer 4 Is correct Okay. So again, let us have another example. Ito, uh, ito, ito. Merong uh, dalawang variable. Hindi naman isang variable lang, pero on uh, both sides. Okay. So, 3 minus 5y all over 4 equals 2 minus 4y all over 3. So again, x na lang yung gamitin natin dito mga kaibigan. No? Para consistent tayo sa variable na ginagamit natin. Clear lang natin. So, 3 minus 5x all over 4 then uh, equals 2 minus 4y 2 minus 4 x lang yun na mga kaibigan meaning lang variable yun all over 3 then again shift solve and then press equals so the answer is negative 1 on our class switch let us use the um, 991 ES so again tatype lang natin yun fraction 3 minus 5 x. Tama ba yung ating ano, equation over 4? Then equals 2 minus 4x all over 3. Then again, shift solve mga kaibigan. Equals, the answer is also negative 1. So meaning, tama yung ating sagot. Ano? Tama yung ating sagot for both calculators. Ito mga kaibigan, uh, another example. Ano? Um, one variable pa rin, pero uh, nakakalat na yung variable. Okay, so the equation is 6 plus 3x equals 5 multiplied by x minus 1 minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. So marami na itong x na mga kaibigan, pero isang variable pa rin yan. And madali lang yan sa kalugin natin. Type lang natin 6 plus 3x alpha x equals, so uh, equals, 5 multiplied by, so parenthesis, alpha x minus 1. So, 
So, close parenthesis, minus 3, open parenthesis, x minus 2. Close parenthesis. Then, shift solve mga kaibigan, equals, the answer is negative 5. For our 991ES plus. So, again, type lang natin yung ating equation 6 plus 3x. Tapos, equals 5 multiplied by x minus 1. Close parenthesis. Minus 3, open parenthesis. x minus 2. Ayan. So, shift solve lang mga kaibigan. Equals, the answer is negative 5 also. So, that's it mga kaibigan. Ano? That is how we solve a linear equation in one variable using our calculators. So, pinakita ko using dalawang calculator kasi nga, hindi naman magkakamukha ng calcio. So, kung class yung gamit mo, ito yung process. Kung yung ES+, plus, yung process ko kanina. Okay? So, that's all for today mga kaibigan. Ano? Uh, napakita natin kung paano ba mag-solve ng uh, linear equation in one variable using our calculator. So, stay tuned on our next tutorial mga kaibigan. I will show you naman how to solve uh, linear equations in two variables. So, meaning x and y na yung present sa ating equation using yung ating calculator. Iba nga, merong manual computation, masasolve natin yung ating uh, values ng x and y. Eh, di ba? Remember mga kaibigan, in uh, two variables, ano, kung meron tayong dalawang equation or dalawang uh, variable, kailangan natin ng dalawang equation. So, next uh, tutorial, we will discuss system of linear equations. So, yun lang mga kaibigan, uh, salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Tuloy-tuloy ano? lang tayo sa ating uh, tutorial. So, if you have questions regarding this topic, mga kaibigan, just comment down below. I will try to answer every questions you have. Also, please follow my FB page, Isimat TV, for uh, future activities na mangyayari near in the, in the future. Yeah, future nga, di ba? Ayun lang, mga kaibigan. Uh, salamat, salamat. Uh, mabuhay kayo. God bless.